good day. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, I have some explanation that I need to tell you guys, that I feel like I owe you guys. Um, I know you're probably wondering. I'm facing jail time. I wish this was clickbait, but it really isn't. Um, so I'm going to just explain the whole thing. So yesterday, I decided to go take my dad's car at 12 o'clock at night. Remember, I do not have a driver's license yet. I went to McDonald's, illegally, decided to go hit the beach, drive a little bit there, and I got pulled over by cops, but before that all happened, I have done this before, driven off multiple times without my parents realizing it while they were gone, and um, I got caught this time, after all these times that I did it, I finally got caught, I guess you can say. So what happened is, um, I took the car to McDonald's, like I said, I went to my city, drove a little bit through the city at 1 a.m. in the morning, and went around the beach, and as a, soon as I wanted to go right, I saw a police van, I was like, oh no, this isn't good. And they were flashing me from behind, and I was like, oh no, I gotta get out of here. So I hit the gas, I drive 90 kilometers an hour, where I'm supposed to drive 50. I just hit the gas. I wish this was not real, but it is, unfortunately. It's not a movie, it's real. And um, they put the sirens on, and then I just stop. Two cops come out the van, ask me for my ID. I said, yeah, I got my ID, you got a driver's license. No, I don't have a driver's license. Okay, whose car is this? It's my dad's. Do your parents know you're driving illegal? I said, no, they don't know nothing about this. And, um... Before you know, I have to call my parents. My parents wake up at 1.30 and they aren't happy, obviously. Well, who wants to be woken up at 2 a.m. in the morning, let's be honest, right? And my dad picked me up, dropped the car at home, and I had to go to the police station. Well, before that, I had two options. Either go with voluntarily and ask questions, or two is say nothing and ask for a... Uh, Someone to defend me when I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. I don't have that type of money for that. And I did not win the lawsuit in general because I don't have a license. So I already am defeated. So I go to the police station. It's 2 a.m. at around that time. I'm sitting in this little cell. And 30 minutes later, he lets me out and he says, You're lucky. This is the first time you've ever been in contact with police or violated the law. We're letting you go. Um, so no records, nothing, they really matched me, however, I do have to pay a very, very, very big fine, a thousand dollar fine, driving without a license, not insured as well, if you don't have a license, you're not insured, and when you hit someone or damage someone's property, it's a massive, massive fine, and it's highly dangerous, and you can't be saying, oh man, these cops, why do they do it, it's their job, in fact, they were actually tailgating me for 10, 15 minutes, they told me. I was driving a suspicious route very weird but okay apparently you can't drive through neighborhoods around that time alright that's kind of crazy but it's true and um, I have to pay a massive fine the OM the judge is going to decide what the fine will actually be it could be thousands of dollars I don't know they decide since it is my first time with the law um, they let me loose the guys the one officer said Listen, man, we've all been young, we've all been there, but just please don't do this anymore, man. It's highly dangerous. Next time, something bad can happen, and then you, they're sitting with the rest of your life. It's like, yeah, I won't do it anymore. So I walk home, 30 minutes, and uh, it's 2.30. No, it's 2.45. And we went to bed at 4 a.m. in the morning. My mom told me, the next time you do this ever again, you're going to go to jail. And the officer told me as well, the next time you do this, you will be facing jail time. It could be months because it's stolen property. So this happened. What yesterday? Am I part of it? No, of course not. I'm disappointed that I obviously got caught. It wasn't my intention to get caught. I just thought I'd drive a little bit through the city. But knowing around 12 1 a.m. in the morning, the cops are all over the city lurking in hiding spots and there. 
you're waiting for people like me to come out around that weird time because it's a Monday morning. He, no one's going to drive at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning, right? It just doesn't make sense unless you're coming from a night shift or going to a night shift or night work, you know? So, um, yeah, but I've done this before. This isn't the first time I've driven the car. Done it a month ago, seven or nine times when my parents were gone for a week. I didn't get caught because I went around nine or ten o'clock at night. A lot more people on the road, so it doesn't, you know. But, um, yeah, I am facing jail, man, next time. But that won't be next time because I'm not going to do this again. This is the last time. Um, yeah, my parents are not happy, obviously. They are highly disappointed with the fact that I did this. They didn't expect me to do this. But yet I did. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that I am facing jail next time. And, uh, well, it's the last time I'm doing this, obviously. Sorry for the sweat, but I'm very nervous. I was actually sweating as well when they pulled me over. I was really, really nervous. So that's really it. Uh, this is the video. I still hope you got a little bit of ASMR from this. I just thought I'd do a little bit of different ASMR for once. But, um... Yeah, that's what happened, man. And if you don't believe me, that's your own fault, man. But it happened. I really wish it didn't happen. Uh, the thing that I'm most concerned about was uh, at the fact that I'm still a learning driver. I still take lessons. And when you get caught, you have a chance of five years not allowed to go, go for your driving lessons. And thank God they didn't take that away from me. They really matched me. They gave me a lot of luck. But realized I also cooperated with them very normally. Answered all questions. Didn't hesitate. Because it's a cop. A cop knows the law in general much better than the regular civilian. Unless you are a lawyer yourself. But I'm not a lawyer. I'm an 18 year old. Joyriding. And you're probably wondering. But what's so bad about joyriding? It's the fact that you don't have a license. And you're not insured. That little plastic thing. That's going to save you. I mean, the next time I get stopped, if I have, then I'll definitely have my license. They can't do anything unless I've done something illegal. So yeah, I just want to say that quickly. Um, that I have disappointed my parents. Um, highly, obviously. And it could, have, it could have ended really, really bad. Uh, I do realize that. It's just selfish. Really selfish what I did. Trust me, it's not worth the joy riding. It really isn't. It's dangerous. It's illegal. There's no point of it, man. Just wait for your turn to get your license. And then, bam, you're, you're, you're allowed to go on the road. It's just that I've been driving for a year plus already right now on the school. And, um... I'm just not patient enough. But it's stupid. I just hope you guys don't make the mistake as well. Because it's just not worth it, man. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video, man. I do really appreciate you guys spending your time. Um, I got a mukbang coming out tomorrow, King of Vlogs. Check out next time, man. Peace.